Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to do some meal prep. First things first, coffee to fuel my meal prep. I'm getting ready to boil this pasta before I show you guys how I'm going to make the Italian pasta salad. So that is gonna be going in here. I'm making some hard boiled eggs for the chicken salad, so that will be coming up too. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the spaghetti squash. This takes about 45 minutes to cook in the oven. So you wanna go ahead and just cut it however you can get it cut. There are a lot of ways on the internet you can find that makes it easier to cut, but this is a small one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut it in half with my knife. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scrape out the inside. So it's kind of like a pumpkin. You just scrape out the seeds and the, um, little pieces of a squash there and then you want to get it all clean and then i'm going to use about a teaspoon of olive oil and i'm going to just going to take my brush and i'm going to brush it all over that i'm going to add in some onion salt and also some garlic powder and then i'm just going to lay it um, flesh side down and bake it in a 400 degree oven i'm going to do it for 30 minutes since since this is kind of a small one check it and then i will put it in for another 15 if i need be almost always it seems like no matter what size my spaghetti squash is it takes 45 minutes to cook so i'm going to go ahead and put those in okay so now i'm going to make some marinara sauce i'm going to have for dinner this week i'm going to put some onion and some garlic in here right now i have my um, pressure cooker on saute mode so i'll saute up the garlic and the onion before I set it to slow cooker mode. I'm gonna need some yellow onion for the marinara sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and get that chopped up. So I'm putting about a half of a really good size onion in there and about three tablespoons of minced garlic. So I'm gonna saute this up until the onions start to caramelize a little bit. Okay, so now time to add in the tomatoes. I'm gonna to do two cans of diced tomatoes and one can of crushed tomatoes. I'm also going to add in some crushed red pepper to this because I absolutely love this. Now spices, I'm gonna do some parsley. Some oregano. Some basil. And some rosemary. And I'm just going to stir this up. I'm going to set this to slow cook and I'm just going to let it cook for probably about two hours on high and that'll be it. And I'll be using this for dinner this week. So here is the marinara sauce. So for the Italian pasta salad, I need some red onions. So I'm going to go ahead and get that chopped up. Okay, so also for the pasta salad, we're gonna need some turkey pepperonis. Now I put that I'm gonna use 20 of these in the recipe builder, and then six slices of the Canadian bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop those up and get them ready to go into the salad. Okay, so time to start assembling the pasta salad. So this is 12 ounces of the brown rice and quinoa fusilli pasta from Trader Joe's. So I have that, it's already cooked, it's already cooled, so you wanna, you wanna go ahead and boil it and then let it cool really well. So I've been doing that, so I did that first thing. To that, I'm gonna add in some red onion. So probably, I don't know, whatever you want on red onion. I, this is probably about a half of a cup of red onion. Now I have half of a cup of these bell peppers. Let me show you what it looks like. These are deli style roasted bell pepper strips. These are packed in water, so they are zero smart points. So I'm gonna go ahead and put about a half of a cup of those in there. And then I have some banana peppers. I have one cup of banana peppers. These are the banana peppers I use. Again, there's nothing in there but water and vinegar, so zero smart points. 
I'm going to do about a half of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. These ones from Trader Joe's do not have any oil or anything in them, so I count zero for these. And then I have the six slices of Canadian bacon that I have chopped up. And the 20 slices of turkey pepperoni. Then I'm going to do two tablespoons of this grated Parmesan. And this is one cup of the Kraft fat-free shredded mozzarella. And then I'm going to use one cup of this fat-free Kraft Zesty Italian dressing. And then for a little bit extra added spice, I'm going to do some crushed red pepper. This is totally optional because these are pretty spicy. Now I'm going to stir it all up and it'll be ready to go. Now, as I normally do with anything like this, I'm gonna weigh out this entire batch on my food scale. Um, this is supposed to be eight servings. I'm gonna see what eight servings looks like. I may have to do six servings since this, this will be my, kind of part of my main lunch this week. And so I may wanna do six servings. So I'm just gonna see which one I like the quantity of better. Okay, so the whole batch was 1,636 grams. So the, for eight servings, it's 205. So let's see what that looks like. So that's roughly two of us, like 207. So that would be 205. So now I'm gonna see for seven servings, it's 233. So that is 236, so it's just about, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with a seven servings on this because that's a good size and then I'm gonna pair it with grilled chicken anyway, so I think that is a good size. I also was gonna tell you guys, um, if you like olives, olives is a good thing to add to this. I just, I'm not a fan of olives. And I will have the smart points in the description box because I needed to figure out how many servings I was gonna do, so I'm not sure how many points it's gonna be, but it's gonna be somewhere between six to seven points, I believe. Okay guys, hard boiled eggs are done. For those of you that are new and the, this is my the first meal prep video of mine you're watching, when I do hard boiled eggs, I do the 555 method. So five minutes on the steam setting in the pressure cooker, five minutes of natural release, and then I release the rest of the way. Then I put them in an ice bath for at least five minutes, but normally it's more like 15, 20 minutes because that's I just let it sit there while I'm doing the rest of the prep. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel these. I need two of these for my chicken salad. The rest I'm gonna put in a container. I find my family eats these really well if I peel them first and they're usually gone within like three to four days. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these peeled and you'll see how easy these peel when you make them in the pressure cooker. So highly recommend the pressure cooker method. Okay, so I'm gonna make my chicken salad. So in this bowl, I have some chicken breast. It's just 100% chicken breast. Um, to that, I'm going to add, I have two tablespoons of real bacon bits. I am using these ones. I will have the smart points for this, this entire chicken salad in the description box because I haven't put it in the recipe builder yet. So two tablespoons of this. I have two hard boiled eggs. I just have some dill pickles that I chopped up. I'm also going to add in a quarter cup of light mayo, a squirt of Dijon mustard, I'm gonna do some chives, I'm gonna do some onion salt, some pepper, and then also some dill. And I'm also gonna add in some red pepper because I'm obsessed, if you guys haven't told, I'm obsessed with crushed red pepper. I love it on pretty much everything. I don't know why you make me shine like a star in the sky. I'm okay. Okay, so I also added in some red onion. Had to use a bigger bowl. 
and this is the chicken salad so i will have this with crackers or as a sandwich or something like that for lunch this week okay so now i'm going to make some skinny kitchen ranch so i use personally for the recipe i use i use two of these buttermilk ranch dressing mixes one and three quarters cup of buttermilk this is one percent milk fat and then i will use a half of a cup of light mayo And I just store mine in a mason jar. So this usually fills up one full mason jar plus a little one of my just little tiny jars that fits three tablespoons, by the way, perfectly. So, and this makes 36 one tablespoon servings. I believe it is up to three tablespoons for one smart point. Super low smart points, you guys, and really, really good. Okay, spaghetti squash is done. So now, I ended up cooking for 45 minutes. So now I'm just gonna scrape it like that, put it in the bowl, and then the night that I have this for dinner, it is all ready to go. So I'm gonna brown up some ground turkey on the night that I have this for dinner, add some of that marinara sauce, and then just have it over the spaghetti squash. So super good. If you guys have not tried this, it is really good. Spaghetti squash is good. And I never was a squash person before, but I really love this stuff. Now, something I should have done first that I'm doing last now is starting to marinate my chicken because I do wanna cook up some chicken strips. I'm gonna cut these down into little chicken tenders and marinate them and have those for lunch through the week with my pasta salad and also i wanted to cut some of these down because i'm having grilled chicken twice for dinner this week so i wanted to go ahead and get those marinated because i'm going to have dinner tonight with the grilled chicken i was just going to grill it all up and then the other night that i'm having it will already be done but i like to marinate for at least two hours before i do that so i'm going to go ahead and just get these chopped up put them in the two different marinade bags and it'll just be ready to go tonight when i go to cook dinner. As usual, I'm using my favorite marinade that I do make according to package instructions. I do count one point for this marinade because of the oil that is in here. Okay guys, so meal prep is done. It took me just under an hour to complete this meal prep, mainly because this took 45 minutes. And other than that though, everything went together very quickly. I have my lunches, which will be the Italian pasta salad with the grilled chicken strips that I will grill up tonight. Um, also for dinner, for lunches, I can have some chicken salad as well. I'm not the only one that eats these lunches. So just so you know, that's why I make so many. Um, I have hard boiled eggs for snacks. I have this spaghetti squash that I prepped that I'll be having for dinner one day this week. Um, this will also be for dinner two days this week. So I have this all marinating. Um, I have the Skinny Kitchen Ranch for salads for side dishes and that is it. So as usual, I will have the playlist here on the screen of all my meal prep videos. I have over a hundred in my playlist. And also please subscribe if you have not already done so and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.